Uh, Charles, when you look at this thing, um, and you heard the commissioner uh, speaking at the Hawks Pacers game and saying, look, what you get through the frenzy, it's going to be no big deal. He's going to help the next person. How big a deal is this right now to you? I think it's a huge deal. Uh, I, I think I, I'm, I'm excited for Jason because I want him to be here as well. I'll take, repeat what I heard on TV earlier from somebody I thought was very profound. When I went to bed last night, I didn't care who Jason Collins slept with. When I go to bed tonight, I won't care who Jason Collins sleep with. I'm happy that he gets to be himself. Uh, listen, we've all played with gay players. Everybody works with gay players. I, I think deep down, there's probably everybody got a family member who's gay, depending on how far you want to reach in your family. Uh, and, and, you know, Kenny talks about it all the time. Us being black, we got to always be for tolerance. You know, I, I never went through what the great Bill Russell and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Jim Brown and all those guys went through. But just thinking about it, it had to be horrific. So we got to always be for, for tolerance and acceptance. I got a question. Do you think, <clears throat> you, you, you wonder sometimes how far you've come and sometimes you get, you, you, like you hear this and say, Okay, no, no big deal. That's fine. That's you know good for Jason Collins. No, Very courageous. It, no, no. But listen to me. Are we to a point where an NBA team would hesitate, or would they go ahead? If you know he's a free agent, would you sign an openly gay player, it, or are there still teams that would say, "Ooh, I don't know if I, my fan base well, can handle this." Oh, I think it's a unique situation because he he's obviously on the downside of his career. I think. I don't think we can read anything into it as part of our NBA family. Our NBA family has always been acceptance, Ernie. I think he, his situation is unique. He only averaged a couple points a game. He's an older guy. I don't even know if he would have been re-signed anyway. So I think it's a little bit unfair for people to read the, the quote-unquote the tea leaves. But Ernie, let me tell you something. Doc Rivers had a great tweet today. Uh, players are going to be a lot more accepting than the public is. We've all played with gay players. I think the one thing I want to come out this conversation, though, to be honest with you, is some people is not going to like this. I think they should have the right to express that. We should not crucify them. I disagree with them, and we, we, it's all right to disagree. But we live in this thing right now where anybody who comes out against it is going to be crucified, and I think that's unfair.